Okay. Hey, it's just so Trish, and this is my pop quiz fun. Do you see them? I didn't have to work. Look how eager they are. They love pop quiz. So, the reason they love pop quiz is it's incentivized. What we're doing here is math drills, and I'm going to show you all my resources I use. I am using the math worksheet site, and so this is my kindergartners, and we are still getting down our... Uh -uh. This is two of them are doing addition facts and I have one doing subtraction facts. So the game is, is if you can get it done in 10 minutes, you get a fruit snack. Get it done in 5 minutes, you get out of here. I pick something different each time and I pick it, not them. You get a, today is a pixie stick. And then if you can get them all right, in addition, you can get like Skittles or M&M's. And I have them pre-portioned. And these are like little one-ounce cups I get from... <coughs> really? From Walmart. And so all this I really bought, except for the fruit snacks, at the Dollar Tree. So I have... We just go and kind of fill up on cool stuff and I fill it up. So I'm going to let them do this and I'm going to time them. And they rush through it. And I will tell you more about the forms and where I got the idea once we're done. Okay, so here's what we accomplished. Katie passed the um, addition one because we're really actually behind on mastering all our math facts. She took her two tries to master the addition, which is the um, 100 problems in five minutes, 100% right. So today she did subtraction. It took her about 11 minutes and she got five wrong. Um, this has really been a huge help. So she did subtraction and I can print, you can also print the answer key to it. Bubba did, is still doing addition. He's so close. Um, Lottie's doing the addition. And then my kindergartner, just to kind of let her be in the pace of being involved, she's learning her zero facts. And she's also... On top of it, learning to write. So sometimes at the end, I have her just, I write and highlight and she traces the numbers. So the really cool part is where I get this from. I'm going to have the link to this. This is the online math worksheet generator. So all I'm doing is coming here for the addition five minute drill. Every time it comes up with a new one, every time you say create one. So I include the answer key, hit create. And there it is. So see, 1 plus 5 is the first one. Let me go back. Hit create. 9 plus 4. So see, they're a different one every time. So I'm using that. And then for my kinder, I'm, not, I'm doing the vertical ones. And then what I'm doing, it says to these numbers. So I'm just hitting, we're learning the zero number facts. And we're only doing to, to 6 because... Um, that's how far her workbook one is. And all of this is preemptive. I hit create. And it gives me a little worksheet for her. So this is really nice. I'm doing this in the morning beforehand. Um, for if you have olders. Like later on, um, Katie will be doing mixed problems after she does the subtraction. So she'll have to master the mixed problems. So it's going to be probably... I'll do the max here and I will just do addition and subtraction at first. And that will help her learn to discriminate quickly between the um, things. So you can go up to multiplication, division. You can do fractions. Uh, which that looks like the least common multiple. Okay, so... Um, I have, I'm definitely not there yet, but this has a lot of really cool things. This is a free site. They do have an added part where you can pay. I do like the 100 chart because, and I will be printing out, because I will tell you, I have not, I have purchased these, which is nice because then you print out. And there's a lot of like skip counting games you can play with this. I like that. I actually paid for one laminated where I can just have this and laminate it without much extra work. So this is what I'm doing for our morning. Um, it's a little, we're already into our day. Um, into our morning and just to kind of really get my kids math facts. So even if this is the least we get done, 
this is great and they enjoy it so they're eager i call it pop quiz and i do not make exceptions when it comes to the candy because if i change the rules then my rules don't actually apply so i do try it they tried well i only missed one can i get it nope perfection and just to kind of give you an idea of my candy you know we just hit the dollar tree and we'll and i'll bag up i even have m&ms pixie sticks um i get these from aldi's and this is kind of our yep you win i give the preschool the i give orville who's two and a half one just right off the bat to keep them out Addie's automatically going to get one. I want her to come to the table with eagerness. And then to the girls, Katie and Lottie didn't get it today. They were going for perfection and just missed it. And they didn't win this. You got to do it within 10 minutes for me. So I just let them pick out their favorite stuff and add to it. And then you can see I've gone and got these little things. So I got M&Ms. And, and I mean, these are just a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So the really cool part is the reason I started this was um i did a webinar and i have to just love miss mahogany because she just brought it back to me about doing professional development as a mom and i'll put a link for this site this is the ultimate it's on the ultimate homeschool radio network so they have different podcasts you can listen to and you can listen to them live and be part of the conversation or you can listen to them afterwards so i was and it's really cool because this one's actually ran by felice and i met her um couple years ago at a homeschool convention so the one I listened to the other night was by Melanie Young and she's been homeschooling for a long time and it was back to school when you feel like a homeschool failure now that I feel like a homeschool failure I don't you don't even need to feel like a homeschool failure to just gain so much from this so um it was really cool if you watch it during live time you'll have like when it starts you'll hit play and then you'll see all the conversations happening in here. And you don't have to be logged in to participate. You can have like a temporary um, username. So to listen to the one I listened to, you just click here back to school. When you feel back to homeschool. And here's your little bio. And then all you have to do is hit play and you can watch it. So pretty, or not watch it, listen to it. So pretty cool. Um... And this is more about um, Melanie. They they wrote books on raising boys and really just an awesome resource. So that's kind of what we're doing. I'm incentivizing. And they really have a good time telling their dad when they get home what, to, what they did on their pop quiz. And if you listen to Melanie, she'll talk about when life gets rough, the minimum, get your math done. You know, language arts is always kind of a repeat of a repeat of a repeat and just getting more detailed. So if you don't finish that and just how it's not a necessity to finish your curriculum and not to be a slave to it, it's your tool. So there's a little tidbit from us. And I'm telling you, I regret that after so many years of homeschooling that this is not something I found sooner. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps in your homeschool day. And it is Friday, so have a wonderful weekend. And I will talk to you on Monday.